Today, we are going to be leading a tier 10 game with our tier 8 T44 100 Soviet premium tank. If you guys watch till the end of this video, you guys will see how I quickly dismantled the enemy team by creating vision for my team and how I managed to deal over 3000 damage, get almost 6000 spotting assistance and get over 1600 base experience and over 200,000 credits in this tier 10 battle. Since we are playing on Prokhorovka, I will be using my view range loadout, which includes bounty optics, CVS, and a bond rammer, and I will be pushing up aggressively against enemy tier, tier 9 and tier 10 tanks, tying a noose around their necks with my trusty tier 8 T44-100. Surprisingly, that Leopard PTA isn't able to spot me. Leopard PTA should not have poked there again when he knew he was getting spotted. This was a free kill for our team. Okay, now that the Leopard PTA is out of the battle, Let's move closer to the hill and see if we can get shots towards the zero line. Light him up, baby! Light him up! Okay, so the enemy team just lost their Skoda T50 and their T10 on zero line. And I still have full HP at this point, with our team being up by about 4,000 hit points. At this point in the battle, I want to push the 8, 9, and zero line area so that I can spot any tank destroyers they might have in that area. And if they don't have anyone in that area, then I can start flanking the enemy heavy tanks which are playing in mid. I may be a tier 8 tank in a tier 10 game, but I want to get aggressive and make use of my tank spotting abilities to maximize my score in this round. Guys, with optics equipped on my tank, I spotted that BZ-75 all the way in the B2 bushes from these train tracks which is honestly kind of nutty for this tank. At this point in the battle, since I am still on full HP and there are at least 9500 hit points left on the enemy team, I am going to make a very aggressive push here towards the Skoda T-56 who is now most likely on reload. What I'm doing here is very dangerous because their tank destroyers are healthy right now and most likely they are all camping one and two lines since our team has taken control of the east already. I have to move quick here and get behind the safety of those mounds, otherwise 
their tank destroyers and their BZ-75 will very quickly bring me down to zero HP. Which would not just be bad for us, but it would be bad for the whole team since I am likely the only one who can really spot effectively on our team. I am willing to take this risk here since I am not a one shot yet. And the key word here is yet. And because if I play this right, I could get a whole lot more damage as well as spotting assistance. That BZ-75 slapped us pretty hard, but we will live and continue to create vision for our team on one and two lines. And now, we are about to get a whole lot of juicy spotting assistance by creating vision for the rest of our team. These 1 and 2 line bushes aren't going to do much now in terms of providing camo. Guys, that was a fantastic round on Prokhorovka, where we not only managed to pick up just over 3,000 damage, but we also managed to get 5,900 points of spotting assistance, giving us a combined score of almost 9,000 in a tier 8 medium tank, which is phenomenal. We managed to pick up the Ace Tanker badge with 1,617 base experience. I think I did pretty much everything correctly this round by managing to save my HP for the end of the battle. Because I had my full HP, I was confidently able to push the Skoda T56 towards the end of the battle, and of course I had to take a shot from the BZ-75 in the process, but I could afford to lose half my HP and still have more than enough to complete the battle by spotting the enemy tanks for my team. I hope you guys enjoyed today's battle. If you appreciate my Watt replays and my, my style of video editing, hit the like and subscribe button as it supports me in creating new and exciting replays for you guys. That's all for today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one.